Can I ask you a question? What are you? And today I have a secret to tell you guys. It's um, it's very personal. It's very close to my heart, and um, I'm mixed. <laughs> wait, wait. Yes, I know. I'm not Hispanic. And yes, I know this concept might be a little confusing, but let me explain it to you, okay? My mom, she's also mixed. I know, even more confusing. All it means is my mom's mom, like the little dark chocolate, got together, made my mom. My mom got with some white chocolate, made me. <laughs> now, if you are of a mixed race, this is a video explaining some of the things that you probably can relate to. If you're not a mixed kid, it's okay, who knows? Maybe go meet somebody else who isn't a mixed kid and make a mixed baby. You like that. I don't know what this accent is. <laughs> but here are some things that we tend to hear a lot. Anytime you meet anyone new, you have this conversation. So like, what are you? Human. No, 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 like, where are you from? Earth. No, like, where were your parents born? I'm pretty sure they were born on earth too. No. But here's some things that we tend to get. I don't know what you want me to say. They came out of their mother's. <laughs> and then as a mixed person, you always have people who aren't mixed telling you what you are. I've gotten Honduran. I've gotten Mexican. I've gotten Costa Rican. I've gotten Brazilian. But I've even gotten Asian once. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not any of those things. I mean, as far as I know, who knows? If I didn't look so much like my mom, I would've thought I was adopted. People just love to play the guessing game with you. So what are you? No, 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 wait, let me guess, let me guess. Um, definitely some kind of Hispanic. Mexican? No, 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 no. Puerto Rican. No, I'm neither of those things, but I'm good to try. Another thing I get a lot is people wanting to touch my hair. And then before they even touch it, they love to ask if it's real. Like, yes, boo, this is all real. <laughs> it's also annoying as heck, too. So if you want it, take it. It's all yours. <laughs> Another thing is when you go to family events. It's like no matter which side of the family you hang out with, you always are the one that stands out in pictures. Like, for instance, when I hang out with the black side of my family, I'm the lightest one in the picture. Again, if I didn't look like my mom, I would think I was adopted. You can tell me, Mom. It's okay. And then not only do you stand out in family photos, but you also stand out in your groups of friends. At lunch, you never know who to sit with. Do I sit with the black people or do I sit with the white people? Or do I sit with the Hispanic people because they always think I'm one of them. So instead of choosing a side, I hung out with everyone. Now, I was lucky enough to go to schools that were pretty diverse, so I got to hang out with a bunch of people with a bunch of different backgrounds. I also learned a lot of things. So for my black friends, I learned how to really take care of my hair and find the best natural hair products. One thing I didn't learn, no matter how many times they tried to teach me, was how to dance. Still can't do that. Got a rhythm, but more than one two-step, that's it. And for my white friends, I learned just how comfortable a North Face leggings and Uggs can really be. And then for my Hispanic friends, more specifically, my best friend who is El Salvadorian, I learned to understand a lot of Spanish. Can't really speak it that well, but I understand a good portion. Which confuses a lot of people when they ask me if I'm Hispanic and I'm not, but I can understand Spanish. It's complicated. I also learned to appreciate a good pupusa. If you don't know what that is, go look it up. It will change your life. Now the only thing more confusing for a mixed person than trying to figure out who to hang out with is trying to fill out any form that asks for your ethnicity. Now because I was the kid that hung out with everyone, I felt a little connection to every part of me. So when it asked me to only pick one, I never know what to pick. Because I'm not just white and I'm not just black, I'm not Hispanic at all, but a part of me was connected to all of them. So again, if you can't tell from this video or you weren't paying attention, which you should have been because if you weren't, that's rude. I'm mixed. And I'm proud of it because it makes me who I am. I love the fact that I am a part of so many different cultures and relating in some part to every single one. Now, even though this is a mixed people problem video, we all have our own individual problems. And instead of seeing each other as black, white, brown, purple, green, red, orange, yellow, blue, golden with sparkles coming out of you, we are just one big beautiful 
human race and we all need to remember that sometimes that being said that is all i have for you guys today i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up comment down below if you can relate to anything in this video or you know want to make a mixed baby now go do it we're wonderful people but no again if you like this video give it a thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button while you're down there and i hope you have a good rest of your week bye Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Bang. I... <laughs> I, don't, I don't like this. <laughs> then you will... <laughs> And if you're not mixed, maybe watch this video and then who knows? You might have some mixed kids of your own. Let's grow this population. <laughs> I'm pretty sure they both came out of a different hole. <laughs> if I hang out with my white side of my family, I'm the lightest one in the pit. <laughs> That's not true. Ha, 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 ha.